landscape, clean it off. There we go. Oh my god. That's what I'm talking about, bro. And of course, bro, I don't get it. I can go the whole fight knowing I'm losing, right? And not quit. Why do people quit? It is not that deep, bro. It's not that deep. Everybody wins. Everybody loses. Just continue the fight, bro. You are a right hand spammer. You always got a chance to win. Uh, let's just. Oh my goodness. That is so annoying. I can't even get no good fights because all they do is quit. Welcome everybody to another action-packed episode of Fight Night Champion. Road to the World Championship Online Game Mode. And without keeping this intro too long, let's get right into episode 7. Do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And without further ado, Let's get straight to the video. Welcome right, back, so everybody. Welcome, welcome back. We are in the State Palace Theater in New Orleans, and we are ready to fight Palace against Theater. Professional Thank Carter, age 20, height 5'11, weight 160, with a reach of 77 inches. As you can see, we're not even going to pay attention to my record because that is not my record at all. I am not 9 to 4. I'm somewhere around uh 14 and 2 somewhere around there you know it's just been so many games that they haven't counted so many games that they did count the wrong way or disconnects that you know it's let's just get straight to the fight y'all know the game plan we're gonna come out establish the jab and if my man is accepting the jab then we are going to establish from thenceforward a beat down so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Little volume punching to the body there. Targeting a little head hunting, but not a flush shot. Watch that! Teddy, the expectation in a matchup like this, a power puncher versus power puncher, is that the fight's not going to last one. But what if it does? Then what? The guy with less power is going to win because he's a guy that has a reserve, a reserve in a place that he's ready to go to in case the power is not there. Whoa! Here we go. He may be looking to clinch here. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, Here we his go. opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Oh, what the? Oh, this game is so broke. It's so broke. Looking up at his opponent. I get hit with the right. Oh my gosh. This game is bonkers, bro. Well, I can't get knocked down again. That's for sure. Kill a little time. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going up. Yeah. Big shot there. Your turn. Wow, Your turn. Good stuff. Good stuff. Your he turn. Already, already, uh, uh, panning out to be a great fight. Was a little careless. And I don't see this one going the distance, y'all. I do not see this one going the distance. If he'll be able to go on, what does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. Burton's blocking ability is doing well for him there. He's trying to right hand me. He's just backing up so he can. Keep working the body. Ten seconds remaining in this Woo! round. And that's the end of round one. 
Mariners got to feel great right now. He just scored a knockdown. Now he's got all this confidence that could carry. I wonder who they have win that round. I don't know if they have Todd rounds in boxing. But if that was if that wasn't the Todd round. Nice block by the professional. Carter's just not showing me enough offense right now. Is he, I mean, I understand he did get hurt earlier. Yeah, he did. But he still has to put something forth. Yeah, he does. It's kind of like that kid who gets his hand caught in a cookie jar. You know, <laughs> you're not going to give up eating cookies. You still have a sweet tooth. You want to still go back and get that snack. You better find another way. He needs to find another way. He comes back with the left hand again. Got to stay focused, y'all. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Carter. Halfway through round number two. Heading into this fight, we talked about what each man can do offensively. What each man wants to do is have varied punches throughout. Exactly, and what he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to be predictable. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Burton. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Trying to right hand me again. wants to see their fighter do land punches and punches the combination lands in and out. In and out. oh that's good stuff fire right back with one of his own good we just gonna keep hard. on with the jab good he can right hand all he want he can right hand all we want we gonna two. accept it we gonna accept the right hand last round. Boy, and we gonna stick with the jab top of his game and all over his opponent laid out some serious damage there. Yeah, I noticed that he's starting to land that uppercut a little bit. The only thing that I wouldn't... Oh, they did it again. Right they did the it again. Punching now scoring well by the professional. He got rocked. He just got rocked. And he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit. Stop this flow. They did it again, bro. What is... Oh, this game is disgusting, bro. This is a disgusting game. All right. All right, y'all. All right, either I'm going to give this game away or I'm going to figure out how to stop this right hand mess. That means we just going to stop punching. By the professional and now he brings the left hand upstairs he's a weeble wobble in the ring right now just wobbling away the professionals doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter you got to block those punches away Carter's being very patient here but it's with a plan in mind yeah, it is with a plan in mind, and that's why he's such a successful fighter. He's trying to lure his opponent into a mistake. Great work offensively landing that combination by the professional. Hook! Hook! Mm. Last 10 mm -hmm. seconds. Mm -hmm. All right, so I think he won. I don't know if they gave him round one, but I think he won definitely that last round and most likely the last two rounds. But we still do have 10 rounds left in the fight. Uh, I'm down four points. Hopefully we can. A lot can happen at this point forward. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Well targeted. One, two by the professional. Move! What? 
What in the heck did they? Move those feet. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make a miss, make him pay. Punch! Punch! Halfway through round number That should have been a oh that should have been a mean uppercut, but oh well. They not letting my uh, jab go through his two punches in sequence by Burton. But beautiful jab right hand. Wow, they're not letting none of my jabs go through his guard at all. Go, Good go. step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. All right, I feel like I won that round, but I'm not sure. I do believe he won. He fought much better there compared to what yeah, we see, saw they saying, him earlier. Yeah, don't show me how somebody behaves when they're winning. You know, yeah, really, baby, I want to see how work. someone behaves when they're losing. He's behaving the right way. He's getting himself back into this thing. Defense just covering up down low. Burton's not coming up with the results that you would want to see out of him. Now he's trying to counter punch Teddy, but it doesn't seem to be the answer. No, he kind of looks a little bit like that guy who went in to get his hair dyed, you know? And he thought he thought it was gonna be just a little bit lighter. Focus. And it wound up being a lot lighter. And he said, Wow, what the heck did I do? I, I didn't think I was gonna look like this. I didn't think that I was gonna box like this. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Burton. Carter's got a little something coming back at him. A counter punch score. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Burton. Wow. Did y'all see that? What a smart combination by the professional. Oh my gosh. Nothing he's doing is affecting me though, except for that blind skill right now with that two punch combo. Relax, relax. Landing two jabs by the professional. This man's blocking is like extremely high. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Are you gonna let your hands go? Yeah. I am letting my hands go. This man is blocking everything. Carter's corner has to be pleased with everything they've seen so far tonight. Consensus ringside is that this is a one-sided fight, that he's in complete control on the scorecards. Yeah, well, he's having his way, and it's not going to change unless he gets big. a little cocky here. If he starts looking for maybe one shot instead of putting them together the way he's doing, maybe it allows his opponent to have a little bit of hope, a little ray Keep of hope, moving. get back Keep in moving. this fight. A nice block by Burton. The professional's doing a really nice job of just boxing smart here. He really has found that good balance. What? Oh, he man. Has, you know, first of all, he oh understands his identity, kid. and he's brought it to this match. Jab followed by the straight by the professional. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Carter. Oh, my goodness. Get him out of here. Look at they. Oh, my. Oh, man.
There we go. Punch combo by there we go. We took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Now look at him. What? What is? I, man, I don't know what is. Nice one two by Burton. Burton's corner is concerned. Their fighter may go down here. The countdown. The final moment. They got him dazing me on every punch. Absolutely absurd. There is hardly a doubt as to what this result will be. I don't, I don't know, y'all. I will have to win by a knockout to win this fight for sure. One guy punishing the other. Well, it looks like Kobe Bryant on the They're not letting none of my punches be clean. Feet big. I mean, he just can't miss. Burton's looking like the one thing you don't want your fighter to be, Teddy, and that is careless. Yeah, well, first of all, when you throw a jab, you throw it like you're testing hot water. You get it back just as fast as you throw it out. He's throwing it slow right now, and that's where the carelessness comes in. Something's going to come over that slow jab. Good combination to the body. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good smooth work by Burton. That's classic counter punching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder. Back. They not letting me hit nothing, bro. Look at my punches. And then gave him the right hand. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Halfway through the seventh round. Good double jab by the professional. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Burton. landing a combination here that's what he does when he's at his very best the professional showing that he's got some defense of his own he got away from that punch nice strike after catching one by Burton left and right left and right and now he's targeting upstairs Carter's got that catch me if you can kind of attitude. He's almost daring his opponent at this point to try to land a headshot. What he's in the so fuck, bro? Yeah, it is. He's moving from the waist. He's slipping the straight shots. He's weaving the hook. He's doing a real magical job in there. But his opponent. All right, y'all, man. This is uh. As we open up round eight, we look at Teddy's score. Wow, they have me winning. The All I mean, that makes sense. I'm getting my ass whipped on this one. They're taking the same exact I mean, they're not letting me. One guy the other. Yeah, and the one who's dominating, why should he change? Of course he's not going to change. All the emphasis, all the burden now. Oh, that's all you got to do is do that? And they miss every shot? shot again downstairs. Back at him with a left hand. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Burton. He tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. Burton's putting forth a little boom, boom, boom. A three punch combination score. He took a shot but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Ninety seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Burton's killing me watching him here. I mean, he doesn't need a twenty by twenty ring. They could fight this thing in like a phone booth. Nah, he looks like one of those cars you see on the side of the road where they removed all the tires, all the wheels. He's not going anywhere. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Pace yourself. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. This dude it. The professional's well off the mark that time. Do you see what he's doing, bro? How is he not knocked well out? Targeted two-punch combo by the professional.
that was yet another round where he just looked like the fresher, better conditioned fighter. And here in these later stages of this fight, that's where you get the payoff. So the payoff is what we heard. We heard about why into this fight that in training camp they were doing five minute rounds. We heard that, Joe. Not three minutes, five minute rounds. He's getting the benefit right now of that. He missed with that headshot. This is what yeah. fight night is. Carter's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. A, a straight is faster than a jab. What is this? Oh, can't do anything, bro. They won't even let me swing. Curtin's leaving himself wide open there. You just can't do this. Well, you can do it, but you're going to get paid. You're going to eat some leather. You're going to get close to the ground. That's going to happen. Really oh, my God. I was already starting my combo. Ninety seconds into the ninth round. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by first. Oh my god. One two scores for him. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire right back with one of his own. Good work by Burton. Very effective. Oh my god. Block and then the score. Dude is not even. Oh my gosh, bro. They just will never let me knock. He also gave one. Solid effort by Carter. There's another left hand from him. Carter's got a way of just getting away from that. Wow. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Carter's well conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked oh, up, if everybody doesn't have just... ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. The professional's making this so that it's becoming a very frustrating night for his opponent. I mean, when your defense is that sharp, it can just drive your opponent crazy. Yeah, it can. First of all, it can start to break down. You know, we always look at the physical things in life and anything. You know, you're, you're pounding a guy and you're going to break the guy down. Hey, if you're just smart, you're slick like this guy, and you're making a guy miss, you start to break him down. He's breaking the guy down that way. I mean, goodness gracious. Burton showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, Chris. I'm just a better boxer than this dude, and they just be having me lose some crazy fights. Going to the body there. Up the jab That's not the how you fight, bro. You don't just come out here and do these little. What? And just like that, he's able to turn. Big, big shot he just scored with. Knocked down. Now, y'all have never Unreal. been knocked out. So, if I can't get up on this one, which is. Gonna be. Yeah, I suck at getting up. Just letting you know. That's the first knockout I have received. I, I just don't hand to be gotta make my punch power hard. He scores the knockout here tonight. I gotta see the punch stats after that fight. Man, that sucks, man. But I, I do. Um, that is not an ESPN classic. If you see, I got murdered, according to the judges. Let's look at the punch stats. So yeah, I got murdered because that was, that's the first time I actually got murdered by any body. Uh, he hit me with 23 counters. He hit me with 40 out of 90 power shots, which was basically all to the body. Um, I don't know how much stamina he had left. But uh, 384, half of his punch, man, come on, bro. I have to figure out 
how to beat these straight spammers now he didn't spam like that wasn't his only punch but he pretty much spam but that doesn't matter i just have to figure out how to beat these uh beat the right hand i'm kind of figuring uh you know i'm kind of figuring out a way to slip but the thing is it's risky it's risky because they do let the right hand hit you when you're slipping sometimes and you will get put in days mode but as you can see my record is nine and five now i am barely over 500 so we're gonna go right into the next match because that is unacceptable all right what's going on ladies and gentlemen we are getting right into the fight he's a right hand thrower teddy what should we look for early we've heard so much about his jab is it as simple as that yeah it is for him it is i mean not just from the offensive end the defensive end and also a range finder you know it gets the distance that he needs to complete everything else teddy this has the feeling of a fight that very much looks like it'll be a chess match yeah this is a bobby fisher type fight no doubt about that it's a matter of who moves their pawn. Oh my goodness, and each bro. guy doing a real careful job and a thoughtful job before they touch those pieces. If they let him beat me with this right hand, I know the right hand is OP. Because he's a right hand spammer. Power punchers facing off against each other. That gives you a clue as to which way this is going. Who's doing the little And usually right hand better. spammers don't who's beat me, the but jam? they will let him knock who's me down. Range? Hey, who's thinking better? That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Burton. The body snatchers giving his opponent headaches here. Now he's throwing punches, but he's able to block them this away. This boy is super slow. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Go look at right hand after he got hit. Burton's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. That's it! White's able to avoid that punch. Burton's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Body shot lands, it was the right. Oh, he put me in days. He about to knock me out at the bell with the right hand now he's hit me a total of four times with that weak ass right hand maybe maybe he hit me a total of four times i'm really not sure but i will say uh i got put in days now i hit him with three or four good uh uppercuts off of counter punches not only that i've been drilling him throughout that whole round he has a and plate. I didn't get a daze. So the right hand is definitely OP. There we go. Oh my God. That's what I'm talking about, bro. And of course, bro. I don't get it. I can go the whole fight knowing I'm losing, right? and not quit why do people quit it is not that deep bro it's not that deep everybody wins everybody loses just continue the fight bro you are a right hand spammer you always got a chance to win uh let's just oh my goodness that is so annoying i can't even get no good fights because all they do is quit so my wins then went up of course but it's like everybody that I fight quits. And sometimes they give me the win, sometimes they don't. I don't know. But they gave me the win this time. So uh let's go ahead and submit a review to this to this. Uh let's see. Judges, fight total, exit fight. Yeah, we're gonna submit a review for you. Avoid this player. Game behavior. Quit early. Y'all. If y'all play Fight Night, bro, just take your L. It ain't that deep, bro. It ain't that deep. Y'all see my my last video, or it might be I might just combine these two together since the dude just quit. Y'all see, bro. I just took a, a massive beatdown. It's not that deep, bro. Just take your L, move on. 
let people have enjoyment out of winning or losing you know it don't mind it don't matter to me whether i win, i mean i want to win but whether i win or lose this is not <sighs> it's wild for gaming and until next time peace